I asked ChatGPT to code Doodle Jump for Android using Kotlin. ChatGPT is completely in charge. I'm just going to copy and paste, and ChatGPT is going to throw me some lobs that I'm going to finish at the rim. Now let's see what happens next. But first, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button for the YouTube algorithm. Thanks. Step 1 Game Activity and Game View. First, I asked ChatGPT to write a simple version of Doodle Jump for Android using Kotlin. ChatGPT provided a game activity and a game view that I could just copy and paste into a new project in Android Studio. Once I had the game view and the game thread up and running, I could then move on to the next part, which was drawing something onto the screen. Step 2 Draw the background. I asked ChatGPT to provide the draw function for game view. The code uses canvas.draw bitmap to draw a background tile pattern across the screen. Step 3 Create the Doodler. ChatGPT provided the Doodler inner class that would be used to draw our main character. Just like with the background, we're going to be drawing the Doodler as a sprite on the screen using canvas.draw bitmap. We draw the Doodler at the X and Y offset position that we calculated in the update function. And now we have a Doodler on the screen. Step 4 Add the platforms. ChatGPT provided us with the platform class that uses canvas.drawrec to draw a basic rectangle on the screen to represent our platforms. We wanted to use images for our platform, so we asked ChatGPT to provide us with a function that uses canvas.drawbitmap just like with the Doodler class. ChatGPT also provided the platform manager class which would add all the platforms to the game. The platforms would be sufficiently spaced out so that we can give a little bit of a challenge for our Doodler to jump from platform to platform. We asked ChatGPT to provide us with four different types of platforms, the static platform, the moving platform that moves horizontally from left to right, a breaking platform that breaks when the Doodler steps on it, and then the spring platform that accelerates the jump of the Doodler vertically. First we added the moving platforms and when that looked like it was working okay we moved on to the breaking platform. When we got that working, finally we moved on to the spring platform. With our four different platform types, we asked ChatGPT to randomly add them to the game so that we can make things more interesting. Step 5 Physics Jump and Fall To create the falling effect, every single frame in the Doodler update function will apply gravity to the Y position of the Doodler. Every frame we have to see whether or not the Doodler is in contact with any of the platforms on the screen. To do that, we use the hitbox, which is the bounding rectangle of the platform in the Doodler, and we check to see if it intersects. If the doodler does collide with the platform, then we call doodler.jump and apply the jump force in the opposite direction of gravity, creating the jump effect. When the doodler jumps and reaches halfway up the screen, then we're going to scroll the platforms down by the delta jump offset. Step 6 Tilt and Wrap Around Mechanics ChatGPT provided the code to check the accelerometer sensor to see whether or not we're accelerating to the left or to the right. This provides the tilt mechanic. We then offset the doodler's horizontal position and we change the direction of the doodler sprite depending on if he's going to the left or to the right. If the doodler hits the edge of the screen, we wrap them back around to the other side. This is a core part of the doodle jump gameplay. Step 7 Add Scoring The player's score increases by the pixel amount that the doodler has jumped up the screen as the platform scroll downwards. We then can update GameView.Draw to draw an overlay of the score at the top of the screen. Now that we have the score working, we have everything we need for our ChatGPT Doodle Jump game. Step 8. Play the game. Thanks for watching this video. Let me know what you think of AI assisted programming in the comments and make sure you remember to like and subscribe. Peace.